CBS2 was among the first to identify the top five Chicago neighborhoods with the most COVID-19 related deaths. Yeah, we are not just reporting the numbers. We've been taking a close look at the victims' ages, income, employment, to see what role that played. And tonight, CBS2 investigator Dorothy Tucker has been analyzing that data from medical examiners' reports and discovered a common thread among those who died. Food. She was the, the best big sister ever. But last month, Reverend Marshall Hatch stood over his big sister's grave and led the family in prayer. It's a profound sense of loss for me. Rhoda Jean Hatch died from complications caused by COVID-19. She was 73 years old. She had battled uh, asthma. Hatch had lived in Austin, a community with the second highest number of coronavirus deaths. Like Hatch, many of those who die have underlying conditions. We wanted to know which chronic illnesses make victims more susceptible to the virus and why. So we started with a map where every blue dot represents a life lost. We focused on Austin and South Shore, analyzing the data from the medical examiner's office earlier this week. South Shore tops the list of communities with the most deaths. It's a majority African-American neighborhood where 81 people have died. Austin, also majority black, had 61 deaths. In Austin, 73% of underlying conditions had high blood pressure. 51% had diabetes. In South Shore, 70% had high blood pressure, 41% diabetes. Many had more than one chronic illness. Why such high numbers? Food. The way that African Americans are marketed to uh, with food is alarming. Dr. Mercedes Connorthon studies medical trends in ethnic populations. She points to the numerous convenience stores in black communities that traditionally have few healthy food choices. But she's also frustrated with some major grocers that make it easy to be bad. What has been made historically available to us in our communities has set us up for obesity, high blood pressure, and diabetes. It just so happens that in the course of this severe pandemic, those are the exact conditions that are leading people to have worse outcomes from COVID infections. What also hurts? Fewer major grocers in some black neighborhoods. Let's look at Austin, with a population of 88,000, mostly black, compared to Lakeview, same population, 88,000, but 77 percent white. We mapped the stores in those communities. They're represented by the red dots and found there were only three major grocers in Austin. And if you live in the center of the neighborhood, you have to travel about two miles to get to them. Lakeview has nine major grocers, including three jewels. From the center of this community, you only have to walk about four blocks to the nearest store. We know that this is a problem. We've been a problem Mayor Lightfoot promises to address. At a recent news conference, she introduced a parade of community leaders assigned to find solutions to the long list of inequities facing Chicago's black communities. Food uh, is at the top of the list. Food was also a top priority for former Mayor Rahm Emanuel. In a 2013 press release, Emanuel announced a goal of completely eliminating food deserts for Chicagoans by 2020. But our map shows that hasn't happened yet in some black communities. We've got to get this problem solved. Now, the team Mayor Lightfoot put together is already working. We do know that the city sponsors a pop-up pantry with healthy food every Thursday a pop-up pantry every Friday in South Shore. But of course, what we really need is a long-term solution. Brad and Erica? Yeah, and Dorothy, as you mentioned, other politicians have promised and failed in the past. It's societal, it's generational. Um, fascinating information there. And interesting info about the major grocers. Are mm -hmm. there any other communities that have such stark differences? As a matter of fact, there are. We took a look also at South Shore and Edgewater. For example, South Shore, 94% black. Edgewater, 50% white. Those two communities have very similar populations, about 50,000 people. South Shore has four major grocery stores. Three of them are local. They don't they six stores in Edgewater, two Jewels, Whole Foods, Mariano's, Aldi's, Target. And if you live in the center of South Shore, 
you will have to travel nearly a mile to get to any major grocery store. If you live in the center of Edgewater, you only have to walk about four blocks. The bottom line is that we need to see more major grocery stores in African American, African -American communities. Brad? Yeah, the problem pervasive. Dorothy, thank you for that.